start off by giving all praises, all glory and honour to Yahweh Bashim Yahu Shai. Double honours to the Apostle Elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Salutations to the Akim, teaching word of truth and truth and blessings to the elect and the one third of Israelites scattered worldwide, teaching his truth who are predestined to be saved. <clears throat> I'm just kind of a very short lesson and uh, I was watching uh, so, uh, uh, another lesson um, that the brothers did <clears throat> about the reincarnations of Yao Shai and the last videos I did on my channel was about reincarnation and I'm going to go into that because it was, but it's a heavy lesson I'm, and I'm enjoying it man you know and um I'm just piggybacking of what they said because uh, they used that word clemency. And basically, that's what the elect has been given. You know? Now, there's two levels of mercy, man. You know? And they pointed this out when it was beautiful. All right? There's clemency, as in, uh, you know, like uh, there'll be people that are in incarcerated and especially over there in Babylon the Great man and I saw loads of them man I was looking up you know you know whether I should uh, try to you know give you an example but um, let's go into the word clemency because there's two levels of mercy man there's the mercy of man all right all right A man can be merciful, all right. A man can be merciful, all right. But the heavenly Father's mercy is a uh, a whole different ball game, man. A whole different ball game, you know. So someone can be a, uh, you know, the Lord will forgive men, all right, for things that other men would not forgive them for. All right, let's look up the word mercy anyway. Let's just quickly. Mercy is noun. All right, compassion or forbearance, especially to an offender, to an offender or to one subject, to one's power. Lenient, compassionate treatment. So that's mercy, right? And there's two parts of mercy. You can have clemency, where you might do a crime and you'll be over there in Babylon in them in them rat infested prisons, man. And down south there's some really bad prisons, man. Where people there was a, a prisoner that was basically eaten by bed bugs. I'm not kidding you, man. You know? Um, but you can also do a crime and you know, the powers that be can give you something called clemency. That's the mercy of man, but the Lord, his mercy, all right, for, you know, and really through Yahweh Shai, what Yahweh Shai did being an ultimate sacrifice, you know, like Abraham got the ball rolling, huh? you know, Abraham, um, the Lord told Abraham to sacrifice his son, you know, and he was going to do it. That was just like a prequel uh, to what, you know, Yahweh Shai was going to do. Okay, he was gonna. He didn't. That's why the Lord didn't um, got you know a land to go all the way through with it because ultimately it was gonna be how shy that's gonna be that ultimate uh, sacrifice, you know. And in the reincarnation, how shy was Isaac? Okay, Abraham's son. So I'm gonna do a video on that very soon. But the Lord will forgive men, especially his. Yeah, and he's he's done it. Um, he's forgiven his elect, you know, for things that other men would not forgive us for, you know. And that's a humbling thing, you know. There's some of these criminals that are in these prisons that you know they go for parole and there's no clemency, but the Lord has. Um, and, and and the Lord has known what we've done in this life, in our past lives, everything, man, you know? But the main thing is what we do now, 
All right, so let's look up the word clemency. All right, I'm going to go into a video about it. All right, clemency, uh, kindness when given a punishment. All right, kindness when given a punishment. Let's see more down here. Clemency, an act of mercy, an act of mercy by a person in authority towards someone who has committed a crime especially by reducing punishment okay so there's many uh, uh, jakes over there in America that are in prison and they want clemency you know but the Lord has forgiven us for things that probably man would never forgive us for but let's go into uh, and this is the level that man has and really the Lord controls man all right the law controls man really so he's he's the <laughs> he's the um he's the uh he he's the author man you know you know he he's uh what's it called uh controlling everything you know he's controlling everything all right, but there's a uh, um, two levels of it now. All right, at Proverbs uh, twenty and twenty-four, man's goings of the Lord. That's Yahweh, man. How can a man understand his own way? So even when you're getting so-called clemency in the legal system, that's still the Lord. But that's on a uh, um, what's it? What, what's the word? That's on a, a man level. But there's another level. All right, but let's see this video about clemency. He has massive amounts of power. Okay. When it comes to commuting a sentence, the federal government has massive amounts of power. When it comes to commuting a sentence, they have the first and the last call. But what is federal clemency? Why is it even a thing? And how does someone receive clemency? To understand clemency and how it works, we want to first tell you what it involves. Article 2, Section 2, Clause 1 of the United States Constitution explains that the President of the United States is granted with the power to grant reprieves and pardons for offenses against the United States, except in cases of impeachment. If you know anything about the great Alexander Hamilton, you know the guy <laughs> from that amazing Broadway musical? Yeah, probably a slave, huh? There you go, man. So on, on on the earthly side of so-called clemency, it, there's mercy there because what did clemency say? What did the definition say? An act of mercy by a person in authority towards someone who's committed a crime. You know, by reducing the punishment, you can set that person free, <clears throat> or you can reduce the sentence, or even when you go free. All right, but there's stipulations, man. Okay, and then there's some people that don't get any clemency whatsoever. There's Jake in, um, I think it's this one here. There's a Jake that I saw, this, this guy, uh, what's his name? Yeah, Julius Jones. He was granted some kind of clemency. Alright, he was granted some kind of clemency. All right, and basically that clemency was that uh, he wouldn't be uh, put um, to death in the gas chamber or whatever, or uh, lethal injection, something like that. And people campaigned for him. People said that he was innocent, etc., etc. 
um, but the clemency, you know. There you go, you see. Now, now, obviously they're celebrating and they're gonna keep fighting. All right, they're gonna they're celebrating and, and 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 they're gonna keep fighting. But he was granted clemency, meaning he wasn't be put to death. But he still has to stay in prison without the possibility of parole. You see, so that's the earthly side of uh, clemency. But the heavenly father's one is. He will forgive people and he's forgiven his elect, you know. Um, he's forgiven his elect for, for things that, you know, another man wouldn't forgive, you know. I mean, um, I'm going to get some scriptures here, I'm not going to take it too long. But um, when I was in school, when, when I was a kid, in school and I look back at it it was wicked man we had a friend you know and uh, um, he had a problem with one of the other friends and he was doing things that weren't good and I remember we all stopped talking to him and I was the more or less the ringleader I was the ringleader I said um, at the end of term we're gonna go you know follow him on the underground you know and beat the crap out of him and we did man and you know I didn't really punch him or anything you know what I mean but um, I egged it on and stuff like that. And I feel ashamed of that, man. Do you get what I mean? Now, if I bump into this guy and I apologise to him, you know, he might not he might not forgive me. Do you get what I mean? But the Lord has forgiven us for things that other men would not forgive us for. So we can't... We can't waste this, man. I'm, t I'm telling you, man. Let's get some script. We can't waste this opportunity, man. You know? The Lord has paid the ultimate price. We have to do this work, man. We have to be real about this thing. All right, this is it's two two levels, man. Uh, uh, I, uh, Isaiah fifty-five and uh, eight. The Lord's thoughts are not our, is are not our thoughts. His ways are higher than you know our ways, man. All right, his his clemency, his mercy is is is, is off the chain, man. It's up there. All right, this is Romans chapter 3, verse 23. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And this is Apostle Paul, man, who today would be a so-called uh, uh, a West Indian today. You know, a Benjamite, which everyone looks down upon, man. You know, and you Israelites over there in West Africa, they all look down on us, man. We look down on each other. All right, Romans 3 and 24. Being justified freely by his grace through redemption that is in Mashiach Yahushai. See, redemption, man. All right. When you redeem something, you buy it back. So now we have a, 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 the Lord's given us a, a level of clemency that no other person can fathom. Especially in our community where people, when they have problems with each other, they will go to their grave, man. If you look at our history, even in the Middle Ages, um, many of the kings, you know, the, the, the wicked kings, they always, uh, some of them, on, it was only on the deathbed that they started to repent. <laughs> do you get what I mean? But all through their life, they were, they were just bone idle wicked, man. Putting people to death, not having clemency, burning people at the stake. You know, hung, drawn, quarter people at at the um, uh, what's it called? At the um, instructions of the king. I'm telling you, man. That period, I love that history because it's our history. But we were wicked in that period, man. There was a, not a lot of mercy there, man. All right. So the Lord's mercy is above any mercy that you could think of, man. Man's mercy, okay. All right. Verse twenty-five. Whom God whom God have set forth to be the appropriation 
through faith in his blood. See, he paid that on, you know, when he was crucified, man. All right. To declare his righteousness for remissions of sins that are past. All right. Through the forbearance of Yahweh. Okay. So that's why I feel bad about what, you know, what I did back then in, um, when I was a kid, you know, to, uh, m you know, my friend, but that's what's the way, man. Okay. All right. Now he might not, he might not forgive me. He might not have <laughs> clemency for me, but the Lord has. Okay. So have that in mind when you wake up in the morning, man. Have that in mind when someone does you wrong. All right, clemency, man, mercy. Have that in mind, man. Be very careful about how you, uh, uh, what's it called? How you uh, treat people, man. All right, okay. Because believe me, when when the Lord does, uh, when you know what to do, and uh, you don't do it, all right. That's when the Lord's going to judge you. Alright. But there's two different kind of judgments man. Alright. There'll be a judgment to correct you. And then for example. Like the two thirds. Zechariah 38. In uh, America. They're just going to feel the Lord's wrath man. The two thirds of our people. Are going to feel the full force. The same. You know the wrath that the Lord has. For all these wicked other nations. Alright. The Lord is in Jacob's trouble. He gon he he gon let loose, man. Okay. Okay. Verse twenty six to declare, I say at this time his righteousness, that he might be just, and the justifier of him which believes in Yahweh Shai. So if we believe in Yahweh Shai, we have to walk as Yahweh Shai walked, man. All right. All right. And we have to do this by um, faith, man, because the Lord has given that um, to his elect, man, all right? And we're going to be tested, man, okay? All right? So the Lord has two, uh, there's an earthly mercy <laughs> and there's a heavenly mercy, man, you know? And it's a, it's a beautiful thing. This is Psalms 89 and 15. Blessed is the people that know the joyful sound. They shall walk, O Lord, in thy light of thy countenance. Alright, so we have to walk the way the um, Heavenly Father wants us uh, uh, to walk. We have to walk in His countenance, man. Alright, we have to walk in His countenance. Now let's go back. All right, because I should have I should have restarted it again. But let's hang on. Let me let me just start again, and let's go to Psalms eighty nine and fourteen. All right, justice and judgment are the habitation of thy throne. All right, mercy and truth shall go before thy face. All right, justice and judgment, man. All right, justice and judgment. Okay, all right, all scripture is, uh, uh, you know, you get that, man. But the Lord is about judgment and he's about justice, okay? And some of the things that we did, you know, in our life that we're, you know, in now and our previous lives, oh my God, you know, some real foul stuff that we've done, man. But the Lord is, has has just wiped that slate clean. All right, all right. Mercy and truth shall go shall go before thy face, and the elect have the mercy of the Lord, because the Lord has given the elect to understand the true understanding of the Bible. So that's mercy, man. That's that's mercy. All right, that's mercy, man. Why everyone else is walking in darkness? That's mercy. The brothers in that uh, lesson talked about that. That's mercy, man. Okay? So why should we waste it? You know? 
And if you waste it, you ain't a part of the elect. It just wasn't meant for you. You know? And that's scary, though. Alright? Now, this is Jeremiah. Uh, we'll put it on here first, and then we go. And then and they're going to give it to a close. I don't want to make it too long. Um, Jeremiah 10 and 24. Alright? So, the... Uh, uh, as it said before, the Lord is about judgment, justice, you know, but he's merciful and his mercy is above um, a, a, you know, the mercy of man. There's certain things that man won't forgive man for, man. Man kill man over nothing, especially you niggas, man. All right. Jeremiah 10 and 24. Oh, Lord, correct me, but with judgment. That's right, man. All right, because listen, we're in this, um, these, this body, this, this, uh, 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 fleshly body, this chains of darkness. All right, you know. So, you know, even Paul said, "What I uh, uh want to do, I do not, man." You know, roughly paraphrasing. So we're gonna go off, but the Lord says, but it says, "Correct me," but with judgment. And it said, and then, and then, this is the point, not in thine anger, least thou bring me to nothing. And that's what's going to happen to the other nations, all right, and the two thirds of our people. Their life is going to be for nothing. They knew what was going to be for nothing. Their, uh, you know, everything, their business is going to be for nothing, you know. But, we, but the, the elect, Lord will one of them gonna get a crown of righteousness man so let's not um waste this gift all right the last scripture i just wanted to make a little quick video i can listen to that and study and so you know you know so think about that man you know there's something to marinate on it really is you know, this is Second Corinthians uh, 6 and 1. We then, as workers together with him, because we're laboring right now. And that's a good thing. All right? That's a good thing. That's a good thing, man. All you toiling for business and all this kind of stuff and toiling in your marriage and this, that stuff and all, all, all this. Look, most of the, oh, uh, listen, all of the prophets, Ezekiel had a woman, the Lord put his woman to death. All right, <laughs> because the Lord, the Lord wanted him to concentrate on his truth, man. Okay, in the kingdom, all right, it, it, in in the kingdom, we'll have time for all of that stuff. Brothers that have got, um, you know, family already, you know, if they be saved, sold them of his own household. But we, but but we then, as workers together with him, besiege you, also, that ye receive not. The grace of Yahweh in vain. All right, we don't want to receive this this word, this truth in vain, man. That's why the Bible talks about examining yourself. You know, so the Lord's mercy is above anything else, um, and we all go short, and we all fall short, as Paul said. You know, but we have to take this uh, thing dead seriously. And in and if you walk in that mindset. When problems happen, especially when altercations happen, you know, Lord willing, there'll be times when you might go off. But I know because I've gone off. We've all gone off. And when I've gone off, I've had to go and tell, you know, this person or that person, sorry, man. You know what I mean? You know, just sorry. And that's one of the biggest words that you don't hear in your so-called black community. That's why fuck the black community, man. All right, the black community is gonna die, man. Okay, I don't care about the uh, uh, the black community. You know, they're black. They're void of light, man. You know, and and they're gonna kill us as well, man. Lord willing, if we're part of the elect, they're gonna kill us anyway. They're gonna kill us. All right, old Jerusalem, Jerusalem died to kill the prophets, man. All right, that's why the Lord is 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 allowing this devil. Because it's his sword, man. Alright? It's his sword. 
But the Lord's mercy, especially for his elect, is just up there, man. I don't know don't want to know what I did back then. But the main thing is what we do now. We are workers together with him. So let's work, man. Alright, and with that, I'm gonna give all praises to Yahweh Shimel Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders, great millstone that rule well. Salutations to the Akim Tisha word is here in truth, and blessings to the elect and the one third of Israelites scattered worldwide who are predestined to be saved. Stay strong, stay in the Lord, shalom.